In the last video, we defined a local inverse for the exponential map. So remember, the exponential map takes any matrix and gives us an invertible matrix. So it defines a map from little glnr to big glnr. And what we did was we found um, a neighborhood of the origin called u inside uh, little glnr and a neighborhood of the identity v inside big glnr and we found a map called log that goes back from v to u such that sort of x composed with log is the identity and log composed with x is the identity and the useful thing that we wrote down the end of the last lecture was a power series expansion of log so it was log of the identity plus x equals uh, x minus a half x squared plus a third x cubed etc so the point is anything inside v can be written as identity plus a little bit because v is a neighborhood of the identity okay so in an earlier lecture we proved this nice fact that if a and b commute uh, which I'll write as uh, ab equals ba then we have the law of logarithms that x a times x b equals x a plus b and what I want to discuss today is what happens if a and b don't commute Well, it turns out we can use this formula for the logarithm to give a formula for the logarithm of x by x b. So let's let's just try and compute, right? If 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 we look at this formula, this is saying log of x by x b equals a plus b. So what in general is log of x by x b? Well, let's compute. So it's log of um, identity plus a plus a squared over 2 plus dot 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 times identity plus b plus b squared over 2 plus dot 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 so let's multiply these two power series together this is log of the identity plus a plus b um, plus a b plus a squared over 2 plus b squared over 2 uh, and then we get terms like um, a b squared over 2 um, plus a squared b over 2 and then we get things like a squared b squared etc higher order terms Okay, but the point is this is log of 1 plus something. And if a and b are sufficiently small, then uh, this power series for log makes sense, converges, and we can apply it. So log of 1 plus all of this stuff is... Um, well, let, let, let's give this stuff a name, let's call it x. All this stuff in brackets, so a plus b plus ab plus a squared over 2, etc. This infinite sum is x. So this is x minus a half x squared plus a third x cubed minus dot dot dot. And now we can just substitute in x. So we're going to get a plus b plus uh, ab plus a half a squared plus a half b squared and so what I'm going to do is in in the following I'm just going to keep the terms up to second order I'm going to ignore everything of order three and higher and just write it as dot 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 so um, this is x plus dot 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 and then okay minus a half x squared what do I get if I square this whole mess in brackets well you know I get a lot of cross terms I get things like a squared, um, a b, I get a b a, I get a b squared, and I get a lot of stuff that's 
cubic or higher order. And then one third x cubed, well, everything inside x cubed is uh, at least cubic, so I get dot dot dot. Okay, so we're for now ignoring the dot dot dots. So what is this? This is a plus b. So that's the sort of first order term. So if a and b were to commute, this would be the full answer and everything else would cancel. But, you know, that, that's not what happens. What do we get? Well, there's a half a squared here, and there's minus a half a squared here, so they'll cancel. There's a half b squared here, and minus a half b squared here, and they'll cancel. So all that's left is a b minus a half a b plus b a. And then, of course, there's the plus dot dot dot, so all the cubic and higher order terms. Okay, so that's a plus b plus, well, let's see, if we evaluate this sum here, we get a half a b minus b a plus dot dot dot. So this quantity here, a b minus b a, is going to turn out to be very, very important in this course. So it's got a name, it's called the commutator or Lie bracket of A and B. It's written like this. A, B, so in square brackets with a comma between them, this is A, B minus B, A. Well, let me put a box around this because it's so important. And you can see this vanishes if A and B commute, which is why it's called the commutator. So what we're saying is, to first order, x by x b is x by a plus b, but then there are correction terms coming from the commutator, and actually the cubic and higher order terms miraculously can all be written in terms of commutators of A and B, so iterated commutators. So, for example, if we kept all these cubic terms, cubic order terms, like a cubed and a, a b squared over 2 and things, the next term in this expansion would be um, 1 over 12 a bracket a bracket b. So uh, oh, minus 1 over 12 uh, b bracket a bracket b. So when I say a bracket b, I mean square bracket A, comma B, close brackets. So these are called Lie brackets after this guy, surface Lie. But they're also known as commutator brackets. Right, so the miraculous thing about this formula is every term can be written as stuff involving A and B and brackets, and that's it. There's no a, B, right, you never multiply the things together, you only ever take brackets. And this is a miracle, it's not at all obvious that this is true. And there's, you can write a formula for the general term, it's not particularly illuminating, so it's going to be an exercise for you to, va uh, to check this cubic term is, is correct, and also to figure out the, uh, the next order term, the fourth order term. Um, but even having done the exercise, it's, I think, not going to be clear to you that the general term should be written in this form as sort of A bracket, B bracket, blah, 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 blah. Um, it is a theorem, and uh, it's called the Baker-Campbell-Hausdorff formula. So this is the this is the formula that says um, exp a exp b equals exp of a plus b plus a half a bracket b plus higher order terms where the higher order terms can all be written in terms of the bracket alone. Okay, so there is an explicit formula. It's actually not due to Baker-Campbell or Hausdorff. I think it's due to Dinkin, 
uh, but it's, it's usually called the Baker Campbell Hausdorff formula. Um, so we're not going to prove this. Um, one of the projects, if you wish to do it, is um, to prove this this formula. Um, but somehow, while it's a very exciting formula, uh, it won't get used very much in what follows, apart from this first uh, correction term, this half A bracket B term. So the main point of this formula is that the group multiplication between these invertible matrices X bay and X B in big GLN R is determined entirely by the brackets operation between A and B as matrices in little GLN R. So this is going to be a general theme that the multiplication in the group is determined by the brackets inside the exp, so on what's called the Lie algebra. <laughs> 